we all know what it's like to be a pedestrian in a city built for vehicles. As a teenager, I would have to walk from my house to my part-time job at the local mall. As a pedestrian, I would have to navigate inconsistent sidewalks, you know the type, the ones that just start and stop randomly, or the ones that turn into tiny slivers you have to maneuver or they push you into the street. And as an added bonus, on my commute I had to carefully cross a bustling on-ramp that led to a sprawling highway system. I couldn't always take the bus to the mall because I didn't always make enough money. I know money means no option for a car or a bike either. <laughs> and need I remind you about that um, on-ramp. <laughs> Hi, my name is Tatiana Quinones. I'm a researcher, um, activist, and entrepreneur, and it's my profound honor to stand here before you today as we delve into the vital intersection between transportation safety and social equity. My journey in the transportation field has opened my eyes to the ways our mobilities can unite or divide communities, enhance or hinder opportunities, and quite literally be a matter of life or death. The study of transportation safety is really just looking at humans, and their chosen form of transportation. What actions or interventions can be put into place to ensure that they're able to travel safely? And it could be a lot of things. It could be the safety of a pedestrian crossing the street. It could be trying to understand why people decide to wear or not wear their seatbelts. It could be trying to understand distracted driving in hopes of preventing it. But today, I want to look at the intersection between a person's choice towards safety and the infrastructure that surrounds them and how sometimes it can impede their safety. First, let's look at the word equity. Um, sometimes people confuse the word equity with equality. While equality is when people are treated the same, equity is when people are treated fairly, taking into consideration that not everyone has the same story. So transportation equity is looking at transportation as a problem and a solution to long-standing social economic disparities experienced by underserved and underrepresented communities. These are communities that have been historically marginalized, such as low-income communities, um, ethnic and racial minorities, and people with disabilities. There's a profound impact of transportation safety issues for these communities. A 2022 study published by the National Highway Traffic Safety Administration looked at traffic deaths for different races and ethnicities. It was found that BIPOC folk are disproportionately affected by transportation fatalities with walking and biking being the most dangerous forms of transportation. In addition, uh, lower income communities are disproportionately located near high traffic roads. And it's households in these communities that are more likely to not own their own vehicle. It's these same communities that are less likely to have access to safe walking and biking paths. The root cause for these transportation safety issues include things like inadequate infrastructure, limited public transit options, and systemic biases. And these are big problems. And um, they need to be addressed. They are big problems that need to be addressed. And we take the first steps forward through research and data. And we need research and data because we want to understand the disparities faced by these uh, communities. And when we have this research, our next step would be to make actionable changes, to fix the infrastructure that surrounds them. We do this through encouraging uh, individuals to take action and tell their stories, 
as a passionate advocate for transportation safety, I believe everyone should have access to safe, efficient, and inclusive transportation options. Uh, today, we started a conversation on the profound impact of transportation safety on marginalized communities, unveiling hidden barriers that persist and hopefully charting a course towards a future where our m everyone has access to safe and reliable transportation. Thank you.